What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. And welcome to today's video looking at four different types of boots. We got Jodhpurs, Chelsea's, Combat Boots, and Split Toe Boots, starting with look number one. I'm gonna have three different looks for each of the four boots. All of the four boots are from my own collection, Ankari Flores, from the recently launched fall winter drop that is now available at Nordstrom. So links are down below if you guys like any of the shoes. The first one I'm starting out with is this espresso colored suede split toe boot. One of my absolute favorites. I feel like a split toe is not a lot out there in the market. I love that style and I wanted to um, include one and make one in our collection. I'm wearing a pair of light colored jeans from H&M, which I think is a really solid combo for it, kind of playing off the trend that's happening. And then we have a sweatshirt that says that's all folks from Zara, as well as the blazer from Zara for a really nice combination of a classy, yet very casual and like toned down look. Look number two, we are starting off in Alex Costa's skinny fit. I don't really know what to call this color, like cream colored tan. It's like not tan, but not cream, something in between. Um, and obviously in the same boots. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting on the price of our boots. Uh, all of them are priced at $295, which I know is not the most affordable, but they're handmade in Italy using Italian leathers and fabrics. Blake Stitch, so they're a high quality boot. And for that, I think our value is actually really, really fair. Now up top for this outfit, we got a denim shirt to kind of base it a little bit like a, as a neutral for all of the earth tones that are happening, especially now that I've got this corduroy trucker jacket on from H&M. So clearly creating a earth tone palette and then kind of using denim as a neutral, I think works really well for me personally, because think about if it were a pair of jeans, Instead of just wearing a pair of jeans, you move it up to the denim shirt and keep the chinos colored and then finish it off with a fedora. I don't know when I when I started wearing fedoras again, but I just thought I might want to use it for this video and it worked out. So that's look number two. On to the next one, starting off in a pair of suit pants. These are plaid suit pants from Zara and the boots, that's what I love about them. Like you saw me in a pair of jeans and a pair of chinos and now in a pair of suit pants and you'll notice that they work for any and all of the above. That's because they're so intrinsically versatile and you've heard me say that word so much because it's so important to me. Versatility over anything because that really gets you a lot of value for the money you spend. Now, instead of going with a dress shirt and with the suit jacket, I went with a dark gray turtleneck and this dark blue denim jacket from Uniqlo. So made it a lot more casual, even though I could have dressed it up if I wore the whole suit with it, even just then, you know. So just switch it up a little bit, make it a little less dressy and it'd be just a little bit more ready for the fall. Moving on to the next pair of boots with look number four, a pair of black combat boots. Now I cannot overemphasize how many of you have asked for this boot because when we first launched this silhouette, we only had a dark brown and we had the dark navy options, but we literally received dozens of DMs and texts and comments saying, can we please make them in black? So we listened and we did it and they're awesome. I'm wearing them here with a pair of skinny jeans from Zara that have a little paint splatter, are a little distressed and have a chain that came with it, which I really like that look. And now again in a turtleneck, but a lot more loose, a lot more on the lighter side. And I finished the look off with this H&M leather jacket. Overall, kind of a bad boy look, but it's also refined like with the turtleneck. I think, you know, it's a little bit more of a mature bad boy look that I personally really, really like. Always love a nice achromatic outfit. Look number five, we've got um, the same boots, of course, because I said three outfits per boots. And then we're wearing a pair of black chinos from H&M. They're skinny fit and I cuff them up a couple times. You'll see me, if you look close, you'll see me lacing all these boots up a little bit differently time to time. Sometimes I go around the ankle and sometimes I'll just let the laces fly a little. So that's really up to you what you want to do there. But um, in this case, I'm putting on a black Oxford shirt, which is from Uniqlo. Looks a little washed out at this point, not even super black anymore. But rather than trying to go for an all black look, I wanted to add in a little pop. So I chose this flannel jacket shirt from Alex Costa's BP collection at Nordstrom. A really nice fall look, obviously very much outdoorsy inspired as soon as you put the jacket on. Otherwise it was very straightforward. Could have easily been rocked in New York. And okay, so I know this, this hat is very specific. Clearly the outfit works without it. I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like because I thought it worked well with it, but you definitely don't need it in there. For look number six, the last look 
that we have for these combat boots. I'm wearing a pair of light gray jeans from H&M. And what I love about the stretch jeans, they're ripped up. I really like the like simple two slits across the knee because it's a very clean approach to the whole, okay, let's go do a distressed or ripped up jean. I really like that. So in this case, I'm not even cuffing up the pants. I'll just let them rest on the throat of the boot. And then I got this white and black flannel shirt from Alex Costa's BP collection as well. Now. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure. You see me smirking at the camera right now because that's because I know that what I'm putting on is not necessarily the most safe <laughs> in terms of like, you know, making sure it looks good. Now looking at it through the camera, it's not the worst outfit. It's definitely not my favorite either. Um, this is where I had the, plan the hat actually planned. I think I was kind of just trying to be a little bit experimental and see if I struck a chord with you. I, I'm, I'm not sure how much I love this look now, um, you know, a little bit after I actually recorded the video. Look number seven, uh, moving on to a pair of jodhpurs in a sand colored suede. I absolutely love jodhpurs. They're in the Chelsea, like Wyatt boot, you know, like the harness boot family, but definitely have a very unique look, a little bit more, um, what should we say? A little bit more unique for sure, because the buckle adds a lot and they can be a pain to get into across the board. But once you're in, my God, they look good, especially with a pair of slim fitting, well, actually skinny fitting jeans from H&M that I'm wearing here right now, a nice light wash, a minimally distressed, and up top, a sweater, a melange oatmeal sweater, also from H&M. With this hat, now the, the cap, you don't really need, to be honest. I kind of just wanted to see how close I could get to matching the color of the suede with, you know, a suede from, from another company entirely. But the suede hat uh, just gave it a little bit more of a sporty vibe. As a second alternative for these types of boots, you can also wear raw denim jeans, which I think raw denim jeans is probably the easiest thing to wear with every and any boot out there, including all colors. So um, I really like them here in contrast to the sand color. So we got a nice lighter, darker combination. And up top, I'm picking back up on the earth colored base of the outfit that is the shoes with this um, plaid shirt from H&M and this suede trucker jacket from H&M from their edition collection. The shirt kind of reminded me a little bit of a Burberry plaid, but um, toned down, so in that sense, more wearable. And the suede is obviously much darker than the shoes now. So when you try and match it, either match it as close as possible or go significantly off so it works well together again. Look number nine and the third one for these jobbers is starting off with these ripped jeans, ripped and patched jeans actually from Express. So just to show you that they are versatile in that as well and you can wear them a little bit more on the rugged side. I think that's definitely how you may have seen them in the past. Thinking of like YSL and their, you know, thousand dollar version of this boot that's a little bit more stylized with a pointier toe, a higher heel. But in this case, I'm going back for a turtleneck, which you guys should know by now. I love myself a good turtleneck. This one is from H&M and up top the trench coat as well from H&M. I love this. So basically this outfit is on, oh, right, and, and a little beanie because it is getting colder slowly but surely. Um, this outfit is basically just to show you guys that you don't have to integrate the color. I know I tend to do that. I love tying colors in, but if you have an all blue outfit with different shades of blue, then the tan can be a really nice balance with that. For look number 10, we are starting to take a look at the fourth pair of boots. These are dark forest green suede Chelsea boots that we just introduced. And I'm wearing a pair of light gray corduroy pants, which I think is another corduroy if they're nice and slim fitting, I think can be a great, great option for all the boots that we've looked at today. So clearly I'm getting inspired by the colorway. Once again, the gray is really just a nice neutral tying in those several colors of green. We got a long sleeve from Urban Outfitters and a casual jacket from Zara, both in a different green, but telling a nice olive green story that definitely is fall appropriate. Second to last, look number 11, we've got a pair of black skinny jeans from Zara. Now, technically, the gore, which is the stretchy part on the side of the boot, as well as the leather sole are dark brown, but they're so dark that you can actually kind of let it pass as a black, and it's definitely not gonna clash regarding the, you know, age-old conversation between, you know, black and brown, does it work or doesn't? So in this case, I think it does. I got a long sleeve in gray on, and then I, I don't know if you remember me talking about this bomber jacket in my H&M haul. I wished it was a size small. They didn't have small, it was a medium, it's a little oversized, but for this look, I actually kind of like it. It's refined, it's street style-y, but definitely a little dressed up as well. Last but not least, look number 12, a last look with these Chelsea boots, and once again, in the raw denim jeans from H&M. 
really nice and slim fit. Man, they also have that like, nice sheen, I think, that, that gives it a little bit extra class. So up top, I'm wearing an Essentials long sleeve. And on top of that, I'm wearing this casual shirt jacket from Uniqlo. Once again, playing off of that earth tone combination, this time not just combining greens, but also going in with the tan. And up top, I'm wearing this Docker hat from Urban Outfitters. It's a knit Docker hat, which I just really, I, I want to kind of push myself to try something new. So there's a hat with the outfit. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper, guys.